welcome back to Microton. We are just kind of doing our thing, business as usual, pretty much like the last episode. In this episode, I think I do want to plan out where we're going to set up our hydroponics. Because I would like to have hydroponics just in case, uh, I don't know, maybe there's a fire or also for the winter. And it's already August now. So, yeah, we need to figure out where we're going to put that. I think probably in this area would be a nice little area because I do want to expand down here and get this geothermal plant. And that would also give us the ability to use the heat generated from this geothermal plant for the hydroponics room. And then, not sure what we're going to do about housing. Maybe we can put some more back here. Uh, because up here, like I said, we're going to extend our freezer out. And this little area will be for solar panels. So, yeah. Lots of planning. Getting our pathways built. They look nice. I really wish the power lines, you could like toggle hide them. Because I don't like seeing them cross through the open. But I've learned to live with it. So yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and do some planning. So our freezer is just gonna be long and narrow. And it's gonna come out probably around here. This is a four by four. So we can have one here, one here, and one here if we so desire. Uh, we may not, I'm just putting it there for right now. And then maybe we'll have the freezer come out. Something like that. Actually, another option, if we can build over this, what is this? Uh, marshy soil. I'm not sure if we can actually build on that. Okay, it looks like we can. So, maybe we could have the hydroponics here. And then that way it would be next to the freezer area. So they could just walk it in through the door. We could open up this side. I like that idea better. And then we'll save this area for residential. And we'll grab this geothermal plant a bit later. We're not going to be using too much power. Because, well, we only have one turret. So, <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, is that raiders possibly? Yep, pirates. They're attacking immediately. Oh, that's a, a good bit of them. So we have our first sniper. That guy's got frags, which is a little scary. Uh, Addy has a pistol, so two pistols, a survival rifle, a sniper rifle, and frags. That is, uh, that is a little intense. Let's go ahead and draft everyone, and I need to remember what everyone's holding. So, uh, Hugens, good shooter. Axel is definitely our best shooter. Actually, Tom might actually be, yeah, Tom is probably the best shooter. So... Tom, Axel, and Hugens will probably be up front. Prissy will hold down the back. And Ogre and Behringer will be kind of in the mid, I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and draft everyone. Get them all grouped up. Uh, they're going to be coming, I'm guessing, down this lane right here. So let's, let's see what we can do. Uh, both Tom and Axel have survival rifles. Let's go ahead and put Axel here and we'll put Tom we'll put Tom down here. Let's get those guys spread out a little bit. Prissy we'll put in the back. Uh, both Ogre and Hugens have pistols. Behringer doesn't actually have a weapon. So Behringer just go hang out. Uh, go hang out in here and you can you can have a knife just for now. Uh, Hugens and Ogre. We'll just kind of stack up for here. Stack up right here for the time being. Um, actually, we'll we'll bring Hugens down this way. All right. Feels like it's been a while since we've had some combat. Let's increase the speed. That wind's kicking up. All right, they're here. Just passing our graveyards. 
check out their thoughts real quick. They don't have any thoughts. They're just doing whatever they feel is necessary. Uh, Lady has a shot on who I'm going to assume is Ogre, who is now going to go down this way. Okay, are you... wait. Are you just arbitrarily shooting the walls, or arbitrarily shooting everything, or... Uh, no. Actually, both of you come back this way. The turret's going to cause problems. Ogre can peek that corner. Hugens can come hold this corner down here. One of them's down already. Let's move Hugens over here. And Prissy... I don't want to be in range of that sniper. That's why I'm not moving her up. Uh, Tom... Let's bring Tom up here. He's got to cross the open. Hopefully he'll make it just fine. Alright, Hugens... Oh, totally wasn't paying attention and that's my fault. Uh, go... Go down here. Rescue Hugens, please. That one's down. I'll have Tom come peek this corner. Axel can peek this corner. Uh, no, it looks like he's moving up. Tom, fire at Lady, please. Please win. Please win versus Lady. That's you know what we're gonna bring Axel over here too. Prissy can get moved up. I guess I'll put her up here for now. Tom, move back one. Fire at Lady. Axel, stop right here. Fire at Lady. Hopefully you don't accidentally hit Tom. Okay, we're getting some good shots off right now. That guy that lived down there, he, he bled to death. Alright, we're going to move Tom back. He's getting hurt. Uh, the boar took a shot. <laughs> Prissy's not doing too much. Let's get Ogre back out here. Alright, we'll move Tom back up. Uh, they're fleeing. We want that sniper rifle. Alright, that one's done. That one's done. Okay. So, that went kind of poorly. I definitely mismanaged that. Um, Hugens looks like she'll be fine. Hopefully she doesn't get an infection. We do have a little bit of medicine. We have one that we can arrest or capture. We have Viper here. Female scavenger. Pretty solid at shooting. Neurotic. Cold tolerant. She was a chef. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Have another cook. And health wise, you're missing your left middle toe, but I think you'll be fine. So Axel, why don't you capture Viper and we're going to undraft you guys. Actually, I'll go ahead and undraft him so I don't forget. Uh, capture Viper and... We have some weapons. We do have the sniper rifle. Behringer. Let's undraft you. Come get the sniper rifle. It's poor quality, but it's better than nothing. And go ahead and capture Lady. Um, they're probably both going to die, if I had to guess. Uh, Lady has... Is she, she good? She's passionate about shooting, so that's nice. Really amazing at growing. Medieval farm oaf. Heat lover. Another psychopath. Psychically sensitive. You know, Behringer needs company. Maybe Behringer and Lady Gubbins. <laughs> Lady Gubbins. Maybe they can become friends. Uh, we definitely need to... You're probably really hungry. Yeah. Uh, Tom, we need to check out his health too. Okay, I think I think he should be fine. Who's doing the doctoring? Prissy, Ogre, and Hugens. So, Ogre's in there taking care of the prisoners. Hugens is, of course, down. And someone does need to go take care of Tom. Let's unforbid everything that they brought for us. There is a knife over here. Tom, hopefully he got bandaged. Uh, he still has not gotten bandaged. Local Cobra has gone mad. 
That's that one. He's going for Ogre. Uh, we should be okay. Looks like Viper's up and about. I need to check these guys. Okay, armor vests and stuff. Yes, that is definitely. You go ahead and strip everyone right now because I want all of this stuff. Prisoners or not, I don't care if you're naked. Uh, we need we need the stuff for trade and we also just need the equipment in general. Okay, so the Cobra's here going for Prissy. Let's run her inside real quick. And it should probably get taken out. You've been bandaged, so that's okay. Let's draft you. Uh, you dropped your weapon, actually. Okay, it looks like the snake's down. So, we're... We're good now. Uh, and it looks like they put their clothing back on, but they left their Kevlar and stuff on the ground, which I think is pretty cool. So this normal quality armor vests, um, Tom, I think we're going to give it to Axel, because he's one of our better fighters. Granted, he has a longer range gun and should probably be in the back, but hopefully we can start getting some R4 rifles or something soon. And yeah, did Behringer ever get, or Tom ever get bandaged? He did not. You need to uh, go rest. That's what we need. We need a hospital. <laughs> I completely forgot about a hospital. Alright, so let's plan that out real quick. Um, I think we'll do the hydroponics here. So what we can do is... I think I want to do something like this. I want to do this open. So we'll have a hallway that comes up through here. And then across. This will be the freezer space. And then... All of this section can be hydroponics. And then in this area, we can have a little hospital area. Maybe something like this. And we'll put a door here, and then this will come around and connect there. Something like that, because that'll give us room for one, two, about three beds comfortably and we can stack medicine along this bottom wall. Um, I think something like that and it'll also give us a nice little perimeter section up here as well that will keep people from attacking in this lane and then they have to kind of funnel through these little narrow openings where the buildings are. Alright so you know what until we get all of this stuff built, well I guess we can just go ahead and start building it right now. Uh, wooden wall, let's go ahead and get the med lab down because we really need that. And we're going to do a wooden auto door on it in case they're carrying anyone. And I want to deconstruct these cables right here. And we'll just run it through one of the walls. Uh, flooring, just standard wood floor. And we'll need a limestone tile floor over here. And then we will also need some wooden beds. So let's put... Let's do it like this, and then we can actually put the medicine in this... Against that wall right there. Alright, so that should get taken care of. I don't know why Hugens got medical treatment when he was in bed, but Tom didn't get any. I think that's weird. I'm actually going to go ahead and just set that as a medical bed so he can go get taken care of because this is I'm, I'm worrying a little bit I don't want him to get an infection or anything like that and if I remember correctly Axel has the flu yes he's got the flu halfway to his immunity getting all this stuff nicely laid out So we can set this as medical, medical, change you for non-medical. 
pneumatic picks are finished. Excellent. Um, I think we've gotten all the research that we really need. We could start doing sculpting since we live in a jungle and just do lots of wood sculptures. I think sculptures have been rebalanced in terms of price, but I'm not sure. I don't remember if that was part of this mod or part of another mod that I was reading. We'll go and do brewing next. And that'll just be kind of whenever we can, we'll take care of that. And then they'll have some extra, not extra, but they'll have some, some beer around to help keep them in better spirits. Uh, and it looks like we're actually out of wood. So let's chop down some, some trees in this area. And also in this area. I'll actually cancel these orders. Alright, Axel, I want to check you out. Yes, you think it's a spacious interior. You're sick, hungry, and pessimistic. We do have plenty of food right now, which is great. Everything's staying nice and frozen. We'll probably need one more cooler to freeze this entire area. Excuse me as I sip some tea. Alright, and we can also set all this stuff to get hauled away. Alrighty, so we have one park of finish, that's nice. Axel needs his flu treatment. That bed finished, so set as medical. And we will need to run power across here. I want to take out just that power conduit, but I don't think it's going to work. I think it's going to take down the whole wall. Yeah, it took down the whole wall. It didn't even take out the power conduit. <laughs> Alright, well, all this stuff should get finished soon. I have lots of wood now. I still want to do something else with our bedrooms. If I put the bed, like, back here in the corner, then they would have plenty of room up here for, like, a, a table. I don't know why that wall's gone. I guess it got damaged. That got deconstructed. And are we getting any blocks made? Uh, very few. We have a little bit more sandstone. And Axel's flu is really putting a, a hurt on our medical supplies right now. I think I should probably actually extend this growing zone out to there. Because this stuff takes a while to grow and we'll probably go through it pretty quickly. Uh, this auto door. Oh, we need a sensor to make an auto door? Okay. Uh, let's cancel that auto door then. I did not know that. Let's just get a, a wooden door. So we need a mechanoid sensor to make an auto door. And let's go ahead and zone a stockpile over here for the medicine. We will rename you, uh, I guess, clinic. And storage, clear all manufactured medicine. Priority, uh, critical. It is critical that stays stocked and I don't want to see this. All right. We also could use a light in here. I guess we'll just put it there. <laughs> I wish you could do like wall mounted lights or something. I think that would be really helpful. I know they can walk over this, but it, I don't know, it feels weird having that right there. Apparently there's a snake in here. Um, someone named Big Red is coming over. Ogre, why don't you, I guess you keep hauling. Um, I'll just mark it for, for getting hunted. Make sure everyone that is set to hunt has a weapon. And we are out of meats and berries and 
Uh, looks like we're out of rice. Let's switch over to our potato plants. And do a little hunting, and it looks like we'll be extending our freezer next. So orders, set up some hunting orders. Uh, definitely get those guys and get these guys and we will start working on our freezer extension so I'll get this built first and then I'll crack open the wall and then we'll get another cooler because we should have plenty of resources for it alright well I think that's gonna wrap up this episode nothing too amazing happens okay Axel didn't get shot I was worried there uh, yeah, nothing too amazing happened. We did hold off a decent size attack. It was, you know, I think about the same size as us. I think it was five, and there were probably six of us. One of us had a knife, so I don't really think that counts. I'm looking for graves here. And that should go like that, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. In the next episode, we're going to keep working on this area up here. And I know we don't need the hydroponics stuff yet, but we will start working on getting the little hydroponics lab set up. And we will probably also get a couple more cabins as well. I realize that I didn't even set these guys to try to get recruited. Uh, which, which was a mistake. So let's go ahead and set these guys to try to get recruited. Friendly chats, recruitment. All that stuff. Hopefully we'll get Viper and Lady added to our roster. Uh, cargo pods nearby and Ants Hill they're visiting. Okay. <laughs> Lots of stuff happening while I'm trying to wrap up the episode. Yeah, so in the next episode we're going to keep building. Try to recruit Viper and Lady. Build some new cabins. And pretty much just keep doing what we're doing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.